is eLife Reflections. Welcome to another time of study. Today, we will reflect on the topic, Are you ashamed of the gospel of Christ? In our scripture, it's taken from Romans chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. I read, I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is God's powerful method of bringing all who believe it to heaven. This message was preached first to the Jews alone, but now everyone is invited to come to God in the same way. This good news tells us that God makes us ready for heaven, makes us right in God's sight. When we put our faith and trust in Christ, to save us. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scripture says it, the man who finds life will find it through trusting God. Hallelujah. Sharing the gospel of Christ is God's core mandate for every believer. It is not a preserve for just a few people called into mission work. Paul in the scripture above was very emphatic in his confession. He said, I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. How about you? Are you ashamed or afraid to share this gospel to others? Think about it. It's our responsibility and nobody is exempted to do so. To better understand the passage above, let us review by answering the following. What is Paul not ashamed of? How does he describe the gospel of Christ? Which groups of people are to benefit from the gospel according to the passage? And what is the purpose of the gospel of Christ? What is the work that the gospel accomplishes? And finally, let me ask, have you been afraid or ashamed of the good news about Christ? Mm, Tough question. Afraid or ashamed? There are some truths in the scripture above that cannot be ignored. So, let's recap. Paul declared that he was not ashamed of this good news about Christ. The good news is God's powerful method of bringing all who believe it to heaven. The good news was preached first to the Jews alone, but now everyone is invited. The good news tells us that God makes us right in his sight and makes us ready for heaven. And finally, this is accomplished from start to finish by faith in God. Wow! Think about it. In response, what are you going to do differently? from today. Derived from the acronym gospel, here are some of the ways to impact the world with Christ's gospel. Join me as we look at these action points, starting with the letter G. Let us give priority to sharing the gospel with others. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16, Paul said, I have no right to boast just because I preach the gospel. After all, I am under orders to do so. And how terrible it would be for me if I did not preach the gospel. Letter O in gospel. Let us overcome fear and act with boldness whenever we have the opportunity. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8a, Jesus said, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, 
and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere letter s in gospel let us support the work of missions and evangelism purposefully luke chapter 8 verse 3a joanna susanna and many others had also used what they had owned to help jesus and his disciples jesus had financial supporters for his ministry think about it letter p let us pray for the salvation of lost souls including families friends and foes first timothy chapter 2 verse 3 and 4 the bible says this kind of prayer is good and it pleases god our savior god wants everyone to be saved and to know the whole truth and so in addition to telling others about the gospel you and i will have to pray pray and pray and pray for lost souls letter e let us encourage other believers to share the gospel also and i like what second timothy chapter 2 verse 2 says that you have often heard me teach now i want you to tell these same things to followers who can be trusted to tell others amen and finally let us love sinners and show compassion as christ did matthew chapter 9 verse 36 when he saw the crowds and this is jesus he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless like sheep without a shepherd mm. remember many people die without experiencing the true salvation that comes from jesus christ but friends before jesus ascended into heaven he promised the holy spirit who would give us power to be his witnesses in every part of the world Jesus said, I tell you this, you should say clearly to other people, I believe Jesus. If you do this, I the son of man will say to the angels of God, this is someone who is my disciple. Jesus is coming soon. I challenge you to join the laborers in the fields to rescue the many souls that are perishing. Amen. Join me to pray. Lord Jesus, please forgive our passive attitude towards the gospel and give us fresh passion and power from the Holy Spirit to share the gospel wherever we find ourselves with our lips, our lifestyle and love and may nothing hinder us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is all that time would allow us to share today. Rescue the perishing and care for the dying. Until I come your way again, this is Suska wishing you Jesus. God richly bless you.